The title of my stream today is The Enemy Character, and all of you guys are just like, well, 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 it's such and such. I've seen so many characters listed. Gold Lewis, True Guile, Kami, Bison, Yoshi Mitsu, Grimner, <laughs> Jin from Tekken. I saw Arslan Ash tweeting about how 214 needs to be nerfed. In Guilty Gear's case, a lot of you heard about how Ram was broken, probably, right? And Gold Lewis was broken. And about how they shot Milia, Happy Chaos got shot, they removed his clone and made him way weaker. This is a summary of this Guilty Gear Stripe patch. You ready for this? It's Ramlethal Valentine throwing a sword, YRC blocks, <laughs> YRC, the sword still goes off. This clip is a good summary, I think, of like how everybody's feeling right now. And yet, I tune into TNS and it's the same old, same old. Every time I fucking tune in, Jack with Happy Chaos doing just fine. Ramlethal second place. Fifth place is Walter Millia. I think it's very interesting. Now, this is just one tournament result. This is public enemy number one to most people this Ramlethal character. And in the case of Street Fighter, this is a top 32 character representation. For the Japan Super Premier, you may notice there's a couple of clowns sitting up there juggling the top two spot. Bison and Akuma, the two characters who I think everybody talk about. They're really, really powerful DLC bad guys. Ed right after, by the way. And then if you look at the CPT 2024 World Warrior events so far, Bison and Kami top two by a lot. Now, something to talk about Bison is he's actually not much of a tournament winner look at the amount of wins he has compared to cami who's right next to him and the representation of these characters and the reason is this character is extremely powerful and dangerous and easy to operate in tournament but i don't think that he is the best character in the game and i think he's a much better tournament character than he is a threat to actually be a tournament winner i think bison is very easy to pilot, especially for top players, right? Who are very familiar with the game. He's very strong at every single aspect of the game, except his defense, which is his only weakness. He wins tons of matchups against tons of characters in the game, especially the, the characters who are not the super top tier. He just can't seem to win at the highest level. Now, that's not to say he hasn't won tournaments, because obviously Xiao Hai won EWC. And like you can see here, he's won some World Warrior tournaments and he could even win Capcom Cup or something, right? Who knows? But statistically, compared to the other characters, he's just not that man. And I think there's a lot of characters like this. Characters that are really straightforward or powerful or have huge strengths that let, allow them to beat a lot of characters, but are not the kind of well-rounded, complete characters that generally tend to win tournaments. I just did a video about Elena. Elena was actually the same way. Extremely popular in tournaments, was a really powerful counterpick but didn't seem to win them nearly as much. She wasn't winning Capcom Cup. She wasn't winning Evo. She didn't win a lot of the major tournaments. You know Slayer and Strive? I think Slayer's a lot like this. Slayer is really popular. He plays as well in tournaments all the time, and yet he doesn't seem to be a tournament winning character. He just doesn't win. Ramlethal has been like that over the years in Guilty Gear, despite being very, very powerful. And I think it's because of a few reasons why these characters tend to be this way. For one, most Bison players are not Bison players, in parentheses real. They tend to play Bison as a secondary, and they pick Bison in matchups they don't want to play their main character in. Second, he has weaknesses, and their weaknesses matter more when you're playing at the very, very tip-top level, and the likelihood of them consistently just winning against high-level opponents all the way through is not as high. He has some other harder matchups that he's more likely to run into the deeper the tournament goes, I think, as well. Ken, as a character, maybe not as strong in people's minds as Bison, Akuma, Ed, etc., but is more likely to win a tournament to me than those characters oftentimes, just because he is more stable. Stable means, like, does the character win in a way that's consistent, strong, and like doesn't have failure points, right? Or do they have like holes in their game plan or strategy that can like be exploited? It's like a character like Happy Chaos, right? He's not stronger than Ram. He's not stronger than Johnny. He's not stronger than Leo, probably in this version. He's not stronger than Gold Lewis. Like people say that for sure, right? The character just has stability that I think is pretty important. Those confirms are good. He has good, like consistent offense and good ways to control mid range. And Jack is also the best. Like he's. He Jack is a demon, does all of these like good, strong options and controls space really well and can hold it down with good mix and good mid range control and buttons and zoning if he wants to for a little bit, kind of. In this version, though, uh, yeah, these characters are going to win, I don't know. especially these two, I think. Like, Olaf has been strong in basically every version of the game. The problem is that he loses in the same way, like basically every time he dies with some matchups or like the other person just cooking him on defense in the end game, right? There's characters like this in every game. Consistent bracket god 
who is not the best at closing out and winning big events. Ed players are gonna die. I, I, you guys have watched Ed before, right? Bad things just happen to that character. His kit is too hard to play. Eventually, they just die. Bison is very straightforward, easy, powerful, but his defense is a liability. And if he doesn't just like two shot you inevitably right he gets put on defense and dies and he has a cami problem which i think is pretty important it's just the stability at the end of the tournament for these characters is huge if i had to bet on one of these characters for 99 percent of the tournament i would bet bison if i had to bet on the character to win it would not be bison it's just a fascinating sub archetype of character that exists in literally every game characters that are pretty straightforward to pick up really really powerful lots of people play them as a secondary character but they rarely have big tournament wins. These are the enemy to most of us though. This kind of character is the ultimate enemy to the vast majority of us because we're not playing in tournament for a million dollars all the time, always. We're playing online, which means we gotta deal with this asshole constantly, right?